Hello everyone, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel Lookup series that is running into my channel. So friends, today we are going to learn about what is multiple chained VLOOKUP. If you need to perform multiple lookups sequently based on whether the earlier lookups succeeded or not, you can chain one or more VLOOKUPs together with if error. So basically we are going to use our formula in this you can see I have a database where I have three tables and each of the table contains ID and name. So basically I am going to add an ID here as my lookup value right. I am typing let's say AB12 that contains name as Robert. So I am typing AB12 right. So now here in this L5 cell I am going to write our formula. So here basically we need to use at first the if error function equals to if error now type as vlookup right here select your lookup value at first that is in my case is into the K5 cell right put a comma now it is asking for table array and what your table array will be at first we are going to select this one put a comma now it is asking for column index number and what we are searching for we are searching for the name so it is in this case in this table is into the number 2 column right put a comma again and we are going to use the exact match option now close the bracket put a comma now again use the if error function if error right again use the vlookup function here now our lookup value is still into the k5 cell put a comma now select your second table that is from e5 to f8 put a comma select number 2 as the column index number and select the exact match option close the bracket and put a comma again now for the last table we do not need the if error function right here directly use the vlookup formula now again our lookup value is into the k5 cell put a comma and our last table is from h5 to i8 put a comma we are searching for the name so that the column index number will be in number 2 put a comma use the exact match function now look at here we need to close all the brackets we have opened three brackets so, so close the three brackets now hit enter button look at here we found our result accordingly and if we type this one let's see and let's examine our code if this actually works let's say I need a b 17 and hit enter look at here it is actually showing you the exact and accurate result and from this table I need a b 21 a b 21 look at here it is showing accurately so let's check how this formula actually works the if error function is designed to trap errors and perform an alternate action when an error is detected the vlookup function will throw and hashtag na error when a value isn't found by nesting multiple vlookups inside the if error function the formula allows for sequential lookups if the first lookup fails if error catches the error and runs another vlookup if the second vlookup fails if error catches the error and runs another vlookup and so on note carefully if you have more than three tables the last table do not need any if error function actually so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video I'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing